Hello class 8, hope you all are good. Now students, today in this video I am going to continue the same chapter that is your chapter number 1, Matter in Chemistry. In previous video, uh, I had explained you about uh, what is uh, matter, the definition of matter, its composition and uh, what uh, the general characteristics of solid, liquid and gases. Now you have uh, read that matter is anything that has mass, occupies space and perceived by the senses. Now the question is what is mass? Mass is actually what uh, the quantity of matter represents its mass and uh, the space occupied by, by the matter is called its what volume. And uh, what is weight? Weight is actually the gravitational pull on matter represents its weight. Right? So, today in this uh, video, I am going to explain kinetic theory of matter and characteristics of solid, liquid and gases on the basis of what? Uh, kinetic theory of matter. Right? Let's start the chapter. Matter has three states, solid, liquid and gases. You know solids on heating change into liquid and liquid on he uh, heating changes into gases. Right? And gases on cooling change back to liquid and when you cool back the liquid, then it will change into solid. So, but have you ever thought that why does matter exist in different states? Why does matter undergo a change of state? And why are the properties different for the same matter in different states? And what is matter actually made up of? You know that uh, what, uh, if you take a water, it's the solid state that is your ice, uh, liquid state is your water and vapor, uh, gas state is your water vapors. Now, these all three states of matter are having same water molecules. But the properties of these three states are different from each other. So, why does it happen? Let us find out the answers of this question with the help of kinetic molecular theory. Right? Kinetic theory first was proposed by Bernoulli. Later on, this model was developed by Maxwell and Boseman to prove some gas laws. Actually, kinetic meaning uh, motion. This theory explains the characteristics of molecules and their motion. The main postulates of kinetic theory of matter are, means the main points of kinetic theory of matter are that matter is com in any state, whether it is solid state or uh, liquid state or gas state, is composed of small particles and these small particles are called uh, what atoms or molecules. And the constituent uh, particles of a kind of a matter are identical in all aspects. Then the second main point that is your third point that uh, the particles are arranged in a way such that they have spaces existing between them. And these spaces are called intermolecular space. What they are called? Intermolecular space. Next point is your interparticle attraction. Actually, <clears throat> actually, all particles they attract each other with a force which is maximum if the particles are close to each other, that is in solid, right? And um, it is minimum if the particles are at a distance from each other. That is, we just we can say that it uh, decreases with increased distance means. Uh, intermolecular spaces increases, though intermolecular force of attraction decreases. If intermolecular uh, space decreases, then intermolecular force of attraction increases, right? So, we can say that the uh, intermolecular force of attraction, uh, they are strongest in solids and weakest in gases. There are two types of intermolecular force of attraction. One is called force of cohesion and second is called force of addition. Force of cohesion is the force of attraction between the same type of molecules while the force of addition is the attraction between different type of molecules. 
right for example uh, what uh, the force of cohesion is exists between the molecules of uh, water between two or more molecules of water while force of addition is a uh, exists between molecules of water and the molecules of glass last point of this uh, kinetic theory is the particles of matter are always in a state of random motion and that is why they possess kinetic energy which increases with increase in temperature and vice versa actually what's happened when the temperature is increased the energy of the particles increases and they move faster colliding frequently with one another and the walls of the container and that is why what's happened the inter particle spaces increases and a change in the state of matter may occur but uh, when the temperature is lowered the energy of the particles particles is lower and inter particle uh, spaces become smaller and a change of state in the reverse direction may takes place let's discuss the three states of matter on the basis of kinetic molecular model now just look at here in solid the particles are tightly closed liquid in liquid the molecules or particles are little far away from each other and in gases they are least compact okay now first is your intermolecular spaces now in solid the uh, inter particle space between the particles of solid is minimum or least but in liquid the inter particle space between the particles of liquid is slightly more than solids and less than gases and in case of gases the inter particle space between the particles of gases is comparatively very large than solid and liquid now second is your intermolecular force of attraction in solid the intermolecular force of attraction between the particles of solid is what maximum but in liquids interparticle uh, force of attraction between the particles of liquid is less compared to solid and in case of gases interparticle attraction uh, between the particles of gases is negligible or you can say it is least right now next is your kinetic energy of molecules in case of solid kinetic energy of molecules in a solid is least why because uh, the uh, interparticle space is what least so uh, what you will say so they vibrate uh, in their mean position only that is why they have a least kinetic energy but in case of liquids the inter uh, the sorry kinetic energy of molecules in liquid is large why because of more interparticle space so they have a more space to what move in uh, within the liquid right now uh, next is your what uh, in in case of ga uh, gases kinetic energy of molecules in gases is very large why because they have a lot of space so they can easily move in any direction that is why gases are highly fluid and spread easily so what you have learned about the uh, solids that in solids particles are closely packed hence interparticle force of attraction between the molecules is maximum particles remain fixed in position hence solids have a well defined order of arrangement of particles that is why they have a definite shape and definite volume and particles can just vibrate about their mean position that is why they have a least kinetic energy understood now the question is what makes solid hard and rigid and difficult to compress giving them a fixed shape and size now the answer is because in solids particles are closely packed and strong force of attraction is there between the particles and intermolecular force uh, space is almost negligible so they are what incompressible in nature and molecules only vibrate about their mean position that is why solids have low kinetic energy and about liquids what you have learned that in liquids particles are less closely packed than in solids 
but more closely packed than in gases hence inter particles force of attraction between the molecules is less than that in solids but more than that in gases particles are free to move about within the liquid hence they have more kinetic energy than solids now the question is what makes a, so a liquid flow and take the shape of the container into which it is poured your answer is because in liquids particles are not very close closely packed forces of attraction between the particles are less than solids and intermolecular spaces are more than solid that is why uh, what uh, liquids are more compressible than solids and molecules are able to move freely and randomly that is why liquids have more kinetic energy than solids that is why liquid flow and take the shape of the container in which it is poured now third stage is your gases so what you have learned about gases that in gases particles are placed far away from each other hence inter particle force of attraction is negligible particles are free to move in any direction hence they have maximum kinetic energy now the question is why gases have neither a fixed shape nor a fixed volume answer is in gases particles lie far apart from each other so intermolecular spaces are more than solids and liquids and forces of attraction between the particles are negligible that is why molecules are able to move freely within this entire space available to them and gases have more kinetic energy than solids and liquids that is why they have neither a fixed shape nor a fixed volume right now students these are the uh, question which i am going to uh, give you in the assignment that first is your differentiate between two characteristics of matter that is your mass and weight and state which of three states of that uh, question number 4 so you can do yourself now just i am telling the answers of question number 5 and 6 okay uh question number uh, uh, answer of question number 3 is your mass differentiate between mass and weight this is the answer right quantity of matter represents its mass and the gravitational pull on matter represents its what weight answer of question number 5 is your you have to explain the uh, kinetic theory of main points of kinetic theory first is your inter particle space uh, the particles are arranged in a way such that they have what uh, spaces existing between them right inter and it, but it is called intermolecular space inter particle attraction or the particles they attract each other with a force which is uh, maximum if the particles are close to each other and minimum if the particles are at distance from each other and what it is called inter particle attraction and energy possessed by the particles of matter since particles are in continuous motion they possess kinetic energy right this is the answer of question number 5 Question number four and uh, six, you can do yourself. So, uh, children, just uh, do these questions in your next assignment, right? And uh, <clears throat> okay, thank you, children. And rest of the uh, part of this uh, chapter, we will continue in the next video.